What's up, Wayne Baron here with darkflex.net. I'm up a little bit late tonight trying to get some work done before I call it a night. And today we're in, or this evening, we are inside of Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio 2005. Now what I'm going to show you will also work in 2008 as well. What we're going to do is that we're going to create a link table to a outside server. Uh, it took me a while to figured this out and it really aggravated me and then finally I found the right information and was able to get everything put together properly in order for this to work so let's go ahead and jump into it all right so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do some typing so let's type out add linked server we're going to give it a name so we're just going to name this one uh, temp db and then comma, comma, SQL, NCLI, comma, null, comma, null, and then the server, and type in which y'all are going to be unable to see this, and then in with null okay this right here this is our instance uh, like uh, whatever we want to give a name to our our link table and then this right here is of course our uh, server IP address so next we are going to execute the following command to linked server login Make sure I spelled that right. Linked server login. Okay, and give it the same name here. Temp DB. False. Null. And then the database username. And then the oops database password. Okay. <clears throat> so with all this information written out, which y'all will not be able to see my IP address, my username, and my password. Um, whenever we run this, it should say that it completed successfully. Now unless we have an error. So let's go ahead and execute it. And we have an error, so let's figure out what our error is. Our error is a null and it's gonna be right here. We forgot our comma. Always make sure that you put your comma in. Let's see. Okay, right there. So we had two markups that shouldn't have been put there. So Make sure that it is single quote, single quote around this area here. Okay. Now let's run it. And so the command completed successfully. So next, what we want to do here is that we want to, um, let's run a script to make sure that everything runs properly. Okay, so what we're going to do here is that we are going to take information from the instance that we just created uh, or the linked server and we're going to take that data, we're going to insert that data into a local table. And so here we're going to type in insert into mail server mem id select uid from temp db dot and then this is our lot or our table name dot dbo dot members now with this run we should get back 
that it inserted the, the data into the information properly. Okay, and there we go. It actually grabbed a hold of 339 rows and inserted into our mail server database right here without a problem because we grabbed a hold of our temp DB, which is what we created over here. And then it grabbed a hold of our table, which is right here. And then our table owner, I'm sorry, our database. Um, no, <laughs> I get it right in a minute, I'm sorry. Okay, this is our server name, this is our database name, this is our database owner, this is our table name. It's been a long day. It is 1.04 a.m. I'm usually in bed by this time, so I want to go to bed. I hope that y'all enjoyed this, how to add a linked server, add a linked server login, and then insert into a database from an outside database source. This right here will come in awfully handy, especially if you're doing a lot of work from one database to another. All right, y'all have a rocking weekend. Take care. Bye-bye.